Hello, I'm Steve Kregel, and along with my brother John, and my son Brian, and my nephew Daniel, we own and operate Kregel Farms. With the social aspects of raising pigs, all the talk about happy pigs and gestation unit, we decided that it was probably in our best interest to go to a, some sort of a pen style gestation. The biggest reservation we had with the electronic sow feeding was everybody told us what a nightmare it was to train sows. However, our crew cooperated very well, worked very, very hard, and we were, we had the hardest training uh, scenario I think a person could imagine because we were loading two pens of 65 to 70 sows every week and having to train every one of those sows that were used to being in a stalled system. As a total end result, there's no negatives with the electronic sow feeding system as far as pig production. The labor requirements in the pen gestation system and a stall gestation system are about equal. It's just different labor. However, the sows appear to be much more comfortable. Our sow condition is excellent and the ability to walk down the aisles to go from the gestation pen to the farrowing crates, they move very free and easy. Overall, we're very happy at, up to this point on the decision that we've made. The um, work environment for the people in a pen unit, it's, a, it's an open room. You don't feel hemmed in by all of the feed systems and all the crates around you. Just one alley down the center. We use a walkthrough between the pens, so it's very easy for the workers to walk from pen to pen without having to come out to the alley. And it's a wide open, much quieter environment to work in. My name is Dwayne Rose. I oversee three of the, all three of the sow unit sites and the gilt multiplier. The three biggest benefits would be a little less stillborn rate. Um, average farrowing rate is competitive with a total stall farm. Um, isn't much difference. Sow conditioning is much easier with the feed curves. The birth weights seem to be heavier out of the pens because of uh, exercise into the sows. They go up into the farrowing crates a lot easier because of the exercise they get in the pens. They travel a long distance because of uh, because of the distance of our two G barns attached from the stalls to the pens. The feed usage between the pens and, and stalls is considerably less. Um, whether we're pre feral vaccinating, we're saving that feed that we would not be dumping into a water trough in stalls. If we see that they're not eating, the feed attention list on the Osborne uh, computer system is going to show us who hasn't been eating or who is eating. On, on a three-day cycle is what we would use on a percentage that works for us that we would look back and, and go three days of who has or has not eaten and then it'll kick that, that information back daily to us. Sow conditioning between stalls and the pens, it's better with the pens um, because of the feed curve, the way we have it set up, they're automatically doing it. Somebody doesn't have to manually walk through uh, 1,500 sows every two to three weeks and adjust feeders. Um, it, it's done off of the feed curve, but yes, we do have to change a different feed curve where we would adjust the sow to it. But on body scores, um, if, they're de if, they're, if they're good, we don't have to do it because the feed curve adjustment on the days off of their cycles is done. Um, with the pens, we, we do not segregate parities into the pens. Our pens would be as a breeding date and following. We would have parity ones or parity zero to parity eights or nines in that one large pen and they all will just feed, feed within the same aspects of each other. Um, we don't uh, segregate parities or, or anything like that. We don't worry about so much the parity as how they mix because we don't see a huge fighting between parities. We are just mixing them because of the way our cycles will circle. We'll just run a snake through that building and a pen will come out in one day and we'll load that pen either that day back or the next morning and then cycle another pen around. I chose Osborne because it's a U.S. company. I felt it was going to be a company that was going to be in business for a long time and we would have continued tech support. And I believe that tech support in the electronic cell feeding system 
is crucial to it operating over a long term of time. I would say for anyone who is interested in exploring a pen style gestation system that the biggest fear that we had was stepping outside of our comfort zone. Our employees were definitely nervous about something new and different. However, after, they, after a year and a quarter of operation, they've adjusted to this unit. Our pig champ records would show that this unit versus a 2500 sow stalled unit operated and managed by the same manager with a different assistant manager in each site that the, that the, pig, record, the pig champ record numbers coming out of there are virtually identical. There is no negative to running this pen gestation system. The positives probably are more contented sows, uh, a sow to walk freer and easier like I mentioned before going into the pen so they're actually in a better better physical condition because they get some exercise and the sow condition in here being able to adjust the feed curves is better than coming out of our stall gestation system.